In today's video, I will be customizing three commission pieces that came to me while hosting a table at Bold Matsuri. It was a cosplay convention here in Jacksonville, Florida. I got the privilege to work on a switch dock, a switch light, and a DS for some pretty amazing people. Honestly, this had to be the best convention I had ever attended. There were some pretty amazing voice actors in the attendance, like uh, Zeno Robinson, J. Michael Tandem, Brandon McNinnens, Brenna Palsiena, Ian Sinclair, Eric uh, Kiminer, and a ton more, which my wife stood in hours of lines to help me with my nerdy obsessions, get my autographs for me. But the best part of the convention was the attendees. Seriously, everyone was so kind and fun to talk to. I actually talked so much, I pretty much lost my voice by the end of the weekend. I made so many connections, some people even asked me to sign some Pokemon cards for them, which was such an honor to be included into someone's collection. Out of all the amazing things this weekend held, my absolute favorite part of the convention was getting to meet this kid in a Sonic outfit, Patrick. His <laughs> His family came up to the table. I started introducing myself and that I was there to try to get my YouTube channel out there. Which he replied, I know, I'm actually already subscribed. I couldn't believe I had been recognized in public by someone because of the videos I made. He had no clue I was going to be there, which is fair. I never announced I was attending on social media. But luckily, they came back the next day with a switch light in hand. He asked for a Charmeleon and a Glaceon in an epic like fire versus ice battle. Also at my table I had a, all my bulk cards alphabetized. I know, big undertaking to do that. But, so, but I wanted people to be able to find their favorite card or favorite Pokemon easily. This guy literally looked through my cards, picked out an Eevee, and said can you put this in your style on my Switch dock? I thought this was just the coolest way to pick out what you wanted to be personalized. So I was excited to adapt this to his dock. He kept getting his own dock confused with his brother's, so I was happy to, to help him stand out in the best possible way, right? With my autograph on it. <laughs> Last but not least, I got to personalize the DS with Atropius. I looked through a bunch of art on a bunch of Tropius like Pokemon cards. I really like the pose it was in on this like one on the beach except I didn't want to try to cram too much detail in. I found that it's much simpler, much better to go simpler um, when painting on these small canvases. So I threw in some clouds to make it look like it took off for a quick flight. Make sure you subscribe, follow me. I promise to announce if I am attending a show in the future. I love talking to you guys. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoy the video. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next one. Paper sticky. Ah. Why does it clock in here? That's a 3DS. 3DS? And who was this for you? Tropius. Tropius? I used to have this Pokemon, but it evolved. It evolved into Chad. Finished. Let me look up. Let me do this one. I want to do that one. <laughs> All done. We got them all done. <laughs> Have a good day. Take care of us. Bye.